Oh, the mesmerizing pool of mercury. It's so beautiful. I'm much too compelled to just jump right into it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's start and finish the hazy maze cave in this part. Well, technically I started in the last part, but I mean start with the hazy maze cave in this part. So, this is the amazing emergency exit, and I'm going to show you what star we are aiming for here. You might have noticed this uh, as I passed through here a few times. It's that star up there. See that up there where Mario's facing? Yeah, that's the star I'm going to be getting. This one's a bit of a mystery, except for the hint that you have via the title of the star. You know, I'm going to take this path now, because I don't think I've showed this before. There's an elevator here for the people who don't know how to do the long jump. You know, the, the sign was scoffing at you earlier on in the uh, level. Yeah, and this path leads to the red coin area. So now you know how to get that if you don't use the long jump, but you probably should use the long jump because it's an essential move to get 100% in this game. So anyway, back into the hazy maze we go. Oh, and I should show you something here. Look at this. Mario actually does breathe the haze in there, so he's not holding his breath after all. <laughs> so he really is breathing in the stuff, despite the sign saying not to breathe in the stuff. Uh, Mario, I sometimes... Anyway, what I'm looking for around here is another hole in the wall. Uh, by the way, if you grab the metal cap, it'll be impervious to the gases. Uh, it's not the hole with the moss on it, it is... Oh, it's that hole, I think. Yeah, I think this is the hole that I'm looking for. And over here, we have... an elevator. And this takes us up to... this floor. <laughs> and this is... Oh, I don't get why they have a map here, by the way. It's because why would you need the map when you're on a path to the star? So yeah, this elevator takes us up to the... Uh, black hole room here, and I'll read the sign here because it gives a little tutorial on how to hang th hang on stuff. If you jump and hold the A button, you can hang on some objects overhead. It's the same as grabbing a flying bird. Do people grab flying birds that often, which is why they use that as an example? I don't think I've ever grabbed a flying bird in real life. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, hold your jump button and you'll be just fine. Controller, don't fail me now. <laughs> This would be the worst time you could possibly fail me, which is probably why you will decide to fail me. Eh, eh, eh. I'm taking this path first just to show you what this box is because I'm sure you're curious. And from here, I don't have to um, take the fences back. I can just long jump! Yeah! Woo! And they, that takes care of that star. Let's go back in and get the six star, shall we? So it is watch for rolling rocks. We are going to be starting off by going to the exact same area that we've gone to a bunch of times before, which is over to the black hole area. And this time, in case you didn't notice this, look, see that arrow off to the left? Look just to the right and above it. See that star in that little alcove? That's where the star is, and it's actually relatively straightforward to get to. You just need to do a couple wall kicks. So, over to- oh jeez. I should have watched- I mean, I should have looked around the corner, but that's okay. I'm getting awfully lucky with the boulders. Usually the boulders give me more issues. Okay, over by this door. Wall kick up. Oh, almost got it. Wall kick up to the- ah, pain! There we go. And there's the star. Now over here is, I think this little alcove is here just in case you wall jump the wrong direction because it can be sometimes difficult to judge that. And uh, there's a lantern up here, but that, oh, you can go right through the lantern. But otherwise, I don't think there's anything in this alcove. Anyway, let's collect the star and get out of here. That was quick. Here we go. Now for that 100 coin star. This is a rather tricky star to get. You gotta be very careful in this one. Oh, and I am way ahead of the star curve here. You've recovered 50 power stars! Now you can open the star door on the third floor! Bowser's there, you know. Oh, you found all the cap switches, haven't you? Red, green, and blue! The caps you get from the color blocks are really helpful. Indeed they are. Hurry along now! 
This third floor is just ahead. I don't even have access to the third floor yet because I don't have the key from the next Bowser fight. I'm, I'm that far ahead of the star curve. <laughs> Anyway, the uh, next one I'm going to choose is Elevate for 8 red coins, because as per tradition, I'm going to be selecting the red coin one in order to get the 100 coin star, just because, yeah, and I thought, wasn't there supposed to be a swooper around here? I could have swore there was a swooper in this area. Huh. I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe there's swoopers on other ones. By the way, if you kill the Scuttlebugs multiple times here, they don't give you coins. Only the first one does. It's a way for them to prevent you from cheating the game. Um, I'm not going to go through that door, I think. I'm just going to double back through here and uh, head over to the... Well, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm going to... Because it's kind of hard to get back from the underground lake, which is which has a lot of coins. Like, the area over there has a lot of coins there. Hey, hey, hey! You! Get to this corner where it's safe. I don't want your coins to go down into the black hole. Thank you. Um, uh, that's, that's, that's super... You're not worth it. <laughs> but yeah, there's a bunch of coins down um, that path there. But I don't know if it's really that... If it's really worth it. At least not right now, un until I get... Um, the coins down this route because it's hard to get back from there once you go through there Okay, and I s I guess I should go to the hazy maze portion of this because if I mess up on it uh, I, I pretty much want to redo the whole level or I should say the whole 100 coin star because um, It has a blue coin switch down there, and if I don't get all the blue coins, I'm gonna have issues getting a hundred uh, gold a hundred coins in this one um, in the um, I should probably clear out the area of enemies first before I make my run with that blue coin switch there. Like, just just to be safe. Do these Monty Moles give coins? I don't think they do. No, they don't. Okay. Swooper! Swooper, I've seen you! Oh, I'll take your coins. Ah, dang hole! I didn't see that! I fell right into the trap they wanted me to. No. Poisonous gas. Oh, jeez. They're all after me. <laughs> Come back. I want your pocket change! No! Come! Dick! <laughs> You'll eventually come back, won't you? Okay, you just looped around. I should say you swooped around, because you're a swooper. Oops, didn't mean to hit that block, but no, whatever. Hey, hey, hey! Coinage! Coinage! Ah! Gimme! <laughs> you too! You... Seriously? <laughs> Having so many issues in the hazy maze for some reason. Uh, did I get you? I'm not sure if I got you. No, I didn't get you, because you gave me coins. There's a lot of coins in the Hazy Maze area, so don't miss anything. Uh, that's, that doesn't lead to any coins, I think. Maybe I'll use that to get out of here, though. Wow. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I think I cleared out the things. Except for that one swooper, but it's not going to be in my way. I guess the only maze portion of this is the ma hazy maze cave, otherwise everything is pretty linear. Uh, this, this path is where the blue coins are, uh, if I recall correctly. I better be right about that, otherwise I'm going to be pretty ticked <laughs> if, if I have to restart this 100 coin star. Anyway, let's get the camera right and start the run. Three... I think I got them all, because the timer stopped. I don't know, he let me up. I want to get to this alcohol, because I know there's a couple swoopers in here. Hey, you. Hey. How's it going? Uh, another one here? Yeah, I thought so. Come on. Just get down here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you can punch enemies underneath them, because you see Mario lifts up his arm as he's jumping up. That's him actually uh, punching things. People for the longest time thought that Mario... I uh, hit his head on blocks to open them, but no, he actually punches them. That would kind of be painful if he used his uh, uh, head to open blocks, so that, that little bit of animation kind of um, clears up the uh, confusion of that. Okay, I think I'm done here, aside from getting out of here. Which, uh, here we go, this is what I'm looking for. I just want to make sure that there aren't any coins down the slide here. Coins are usually like right in the center. No, there isn't any coins there. Alright, kill the scuttlebugs and then go up for 
a bunch of coins above. Um, all I need is to be 16 away from uh, the 100 coin star, and then I will be good to go for traveling down the path to Dory, because there are 16 coins along that way. At least 16 coins, I should say. I think there's more, actually. Uh, 21, I think. But I'm just gonna play it safe and uh, be 16 coins away. Okay, let's play some Dance Dance Revolution, baby. Oh, yeah! <laughs> no, 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 give me pocket change. I wonder if those Mr. Eyes are worth it, in all honesty. They are in really awkward spots. Oh, no, 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 give me pocket change, thank you. Don't you dare shoot at me as I'm getting these coins. That's what they do. They like to shoot at you as you're going by and knock you off this platform. Alright, let's jump across. And back over. We are doing well. And maybe I'll be able to get the remaining coins here. I won't have to go uh, down the path to Dory. Although it's not all that difficult to go down that path. It's just a matter of it's a little bit risky because of the boulders. Yeah, and the, the black hole of doom. So anyway, let's go up here and redo this. Now you'll be actually, actually be able to see me collect the red coins, hopefully, because that in the last part I got that odd recording error for whatever reason. That cut the frame rate down to zero. <laughs> I didn't even notice while I was playing, it just it didn't show at all. You just never know when you're going to have issues recording a game. It just that sort of thing happens. I mean, I probably should go over by Dory, because those those Mr. Eyes are really annoying to get, to get coins from. It's probably much more dangerous to get coins from them than anything else. Stay away. Good boy. <laughs> no, no camera. Bad boy. <laughs> Alright, grab these. Super. I don't need that, of course. Super, come back around. I want your pocket change. Yes, you. Do you see me? You don't see me, do you? Ah, you're only worth one coin. <laughs> Screw you, then. Okay, let's go back up and around. I already skipped two swoopers anyway, so... This, this one has plenty of coins to get the 100 coin star. It's just that uh, coins are rather treacherous to get in certain places. Alright, time myself with a boulder, Look right after a boulder, there we go, I think I am home free now, because here's five, and then there- Ah, boulders! <laughs> I guess there should be eight behind this door now, along with a one-up. Yep, I'll take that, and I will finish this part. Woo! With the 100 coin star. I will save, and I can now exit the course safely. With that, I'm gonna, gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.